Yo, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, it is your Bory Code Actual and today we're going to be fixing your computer. So this is going to be within the Windows realm. Now your lights on your modem slash router are on and everything's working because the proper way to troubleshoot internet is to make sure that several other devices on your network is able to get on like Netflix or, you know, get your emails or go on Facebook or whatever. So if other devices are able to get to the internet, okay, then that means the internet is working. But however, your Windows machine is not. Now, if you have like a an Android or a Mac, anything other than the Windows, I'm gonna cover in another video, but today this video is going to be working on the Windows. So XP, Vista 7, 8, 8.1, Windows 10, and so on and so forth. So uh, check the links in the description for troubleshooting on other operating systems or other resources, resourceful links. Um, so I've coded um, a batch file and you can right click on it. You can view the source and what it does, it will clear out your cookies, your cache, and have the expectations that your passwords could be reset, such as your bookmarks. So make sure that you have backups of that, but have that expectation. Um, sometimes the, the passwords and bookmarks don't get cleared out, but do have that expectation that you're gonna be losing and resetting everything. Um, a WinSock reset, um, IP uh, release and renew. So just the si simple things that will help you out. And I can just leave the commands here and separate them out of this out of this program and just put it in the description if you just wanna do it the old fashioned way and just type it all out, just copy and paste, either or. So if you guys can do me one big favor is to slap a like, or excuse me, slap a, a sub. Where is it? Where is it? Nope, wrong one, wrong one. There we go. So uh, hit that big red button that says subscribe. Make sure you hit the post notifications. Every time that I live stream or upload a video, you'll be notified. If I am live streaming, come through and say hi. If you're having any, I, I'm your free tech support. So I'll help you out in the best capable way that I can if I'm able to answer it. And you know, slap a like and share it on all of your social media. Alrighty, that was a mouthful. So um, what? Well, let's go ahead and start off with this. Uh, choose what your internet browser is, which the three major ones are Internet Explorer, or Microsoft Edge, Mozilla, Firefox, or Google Chrome. So you you just uh, type in the option and you hit one, two, three, or you can visit the site, you can hit the About Us, which is gonna pop up with Charmander from Pokemon, or you can just hit Exit and it'll close it out. So it's that simple. You type in one, two, three, and it'll do the rest for you. But um, if you don't want to use this program, I can show you how to reset things on the browser and um, just type a couple things up on the command prompt and it'll be good. That's it. So just hit one, two, or three, and it'll clear everything out on those specific browsers, which the commands are right here to clear those things out. So right there is uh, an Explorer. Microsoft Edge, right here is Firefox. You just type in these commands for Firefox, or here is Google Chrome, and it'll clear out the cookies for that. So what if you don't wanna use this? Okay, well, you're still gonna be needing to use your, um, using command prompt and using a, uh, to reset the Winsock uh, period, and to release and renew your IP. But um, let's worry about that here in a second. So you're on your favorite browser, and where is Internet Explorer? Because I have that popped up. What you can do is bring this over here, uh, go to your settings, then go to your Internet Explorer options, or Internet options, go all the way towards the right where it says Advanced, and click on Reset. And it'll tell you warning you're about to reset. It'll give you all the what's going to reset. And this is where I always click personal settings because I just want all that to be, I just want everything to be cleared out. Point blank period, start out new. Just make sure you guys have everything that you need to back up. So it will reset, then now we're gonna move on towards entering in these commands. So after you're done with that browser reset, you're gonna enter in these commands first, or excuse me, you're gonna enter in the IP release, then the IP slash renew, 
Then after that, you're going to enter in the net SH, do a windsock reset, then reboot your computer, then start it back up. Then guess what? Your, your, your internet browser experience should be working. So now that's for internet Explorer. What about Microsoft edge? So what you go is, um, on Microsoft edge, you hit these three dots right here and it'll go down to settings. Let me move this to the right. Um, because it's going to show my email and I just don't want to edit out the video. I'm, I'm too lazy to edit things out. So once you click on that, uh, those three horizontal dots and you click on settings, you scroll down and you'll see a button that says view advanced settings. Okay. Now we're there. Now I can go ahead and, oh crap. I guess I can't drag it over at the same time. So I'm in my view advanced settings. And this is where you can clear out everything, right? You can um, manage web permissions, which that doesn't really matter. Manage passwords, manage form entries, so on and so forth. So it's something that you're going to have to click on everything just to clear out. So it's not as simple as just one button, how uh, Internet Explorer has it, but um, that's how you clear it out. So... Sorry that I didn't show a visual. I just didn't want to show my information. And again, I'm too lazy to edit things out. But uh, moving over towards Mozilla Firefox. This is the page that you need to be on. So just copy the about um, colon then uh, support. Or what you can do is click on the top right corner here of this button. And that has those three horizontal lines and go down towards help. And it'll say troubleshooting information. Then click on that, it'll bring you here. So you're gonna click on refresh Firefox and sometimes it won't say refresh Firefox, it'll say reset Firefox. Just go ahead and click on that, then um, then uh, go ahead and close out. And again, run run those commands after you're done refreshing the, or re refreshing slash resetting the browsers. Run the IP command and run the Winsock commands here. Now, as for the, as for Google Chrome, what we need to do, uh, I just want to make sure that, uh, okay, I just don't want to show off my email. Um, you need to get to this page. So what you got to do is click on these three dots right here and go to settings and it'll bring up this page. And what you got to do is scroll all the way down where it says advance. Go ahead and click on that and scroll all the way down some more. And it'll say clean up computer. Uh, let me move to the right just really quick because I'm precautious of what I want to show. Um, okay, so it's not clean up computer. Okay, so they changed things up just a slight bit. So um, thank goodness that I'm reviewing this for myself as well. So it's going to be restore settings to your original defaults. Then um, it'll pop up with this and it'll set reset settings. Go ahead and do so. And again, um, after you're done resetting that, type in IP slash release, then IP slash renew. Then after that, type in net sh. Again, these commands will be in the description. So these um, don't copy all of this and just paste it all, all one by one. You gotta or copy it all of it and just paste it all at once. You're gonna have to copy it. So each line, you're going to have to copy and paste, copy and paste, copy and paste. And so copy and paste, enter, copy and paste, enter. So hopefully you guys know how to enter in commands and command prompt. If you don't, um, I'll just go ahead and do it. So, you know, you just copy and you just paste and you hit enter. And after, just give it like 10 seconds and copy and paste and hit enter and so on and so forth. So that simple then reset your computer and you will have your experience to browse the internet again point blank period and that's simple however if nothing worked if nothing popped up for whatever reason and this did not help you out um there's one last final solution and that is we need to go towards your uh, network adapter settings so on the bottom right, you'll see that computer icon, or it might even show the, the Wi-Fi bars. You know, it looks like a staircase. Um, you right click on that, then you go to open network and internet settings. And I know that I'm on Windows 10, um, Windows 10, and um, hopefully you can get to the same um, pathway that we can get towards if you're on a previous version of Windows. So you click on change adapter options, 
And if you're on Wi-Fi, then go to your Wi-Fi adapter. If you're on a hard wire, such as Ethernet, then go towards your Ethernet. It, it will usually, it won't show an X. An X means you're not connected. You're not using that specific, um, that specific Wi-Fi or that specific Ethernet port, okay? So once you figure it out what network connections you're on, you're gonna right click on that, then you're gonna go to properties. Then we're gonna go to IPv4. You're gonna double click on that or you're gonna click on it once and click on properties. Now, before we do so, um, leave, leave your uh, obtain DNS address automatic or you can change it to these numbers, it doesn't matter, or we're gonna use your local settings. So let me go ahead and open up command prompt here. And what we're gonna do is go to type in IP config and um, hit enter. So now it's going to show you the information settings here. So your IPv4 address should pop up right here, right? Okay, so what you need to do is type in your IPv4 address. Yours may not look like 10.0.0.94, so it may look like 192.168.0. whatever. So just follow that. So I mine's 10. Uh, oops, let me uh, let me come back to that. So 10. I, I keep hitting tab. Just just hit periods after 10.0.0.94 or assign yourself a number that's anywhere with 100 above. Um, so like 155 or whatever. Hit tab. Then it's going to be 255.255.255.0. You want to match whatever your subnet is then um, your default gateway, match your default gateway. It, it's, I, I just match it. So it's gonna be uh, 10.0.0.1. And now as for the DNS, it's either that you use your default gateway and you just put in 10.0.0.1 right here and you leave your alternative blank or you copy this alternative of what you see, which I would strongly recommend because um, this DNS goes towards the Cloudflare services and they, it's, I can, I talked about it in another video. I can tell you about the benefits in another video. So it's either copy down the 1.1.1.1 in the primary DNS or alternative DNS 1.0.0.1. And if those DNS don't work for you, then just put the prefer DNS as your default gateway numbers and you'll be fine. So now you go ahead and hit enter and close and um, reset your computer and see if you have internet. And if the, if you have internet, awesome, cool. That's that's all that matters is you've, uh, we've cleared out everything. We also changed our IP address. I'm just letting you know, if you take this computer wherever you go, and you're not able to connect to someone else's network, you're gonna have to come back to the 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 ethernet or the Wi-Fi adapter that we just changed, go back to the properties and go to IPv4 and change everything back to automatic. So then you're able to connect to other people's networks. So I'm just letting you know about that, all right? All right. Um, uh, I think that's it for this video. If this video was helpful, please hit me with a thumbs up. Uh, again, subscribe to the channel and whatnot. And uh, yeah, you guys take care. Thank you for sticking around. Please feel free to watch my other videos. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, follow my social media. If you're feeling generous, check out my Patreon or send in a donation of any amount with PayPal. It really helps out with post-production, equipment, food in my belly, and also continue making free content for you guys. Links in the description. Y'all take care, and thank you once again.